He joins me in the studio now. Steve, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Chris. Why on earth would we be a country that goes around banning books? Look, we're reflecting the views of what we feel is a majority of our local community. Cummins City Council is a unique mix of our culturally diverse people. 60% of the population were born overseas. They hold deeply conservative family and religious values and with they are very concerned when books impede into libraries, not just on same-parent books, but any books which might interrupt a child's freedom on innocence and being able to come into a library and enjoy um, just being a child. Let kids be kids. These are books about how to be a parent in a same-sex relationship, right? Now, biologically, of course, you can't have same-sex children, but uh, socially we have same-sex families. They're a reality. They're protected under law. We have same-sex marriage in this country. Isn't it an outrage to therefore ban those books? No, I think our people are twisting it and we're actually representing the views of our community. We feel that two-year-olds should not be exposed to such books. And this is how the original complaint but, but no, had you, landed. You're banning the books from the library. It's up to parents what books two-year-olds read. Why ban the books from a library? I think it should have been in the adult section. That is the issue here. And these discussions are now going to continue moving forward because there's been uh, community outrage from both fronts, but I won't back away from the fact, Chris, that I'm out there representing my community on an issue they feel very strongly about. But what other books will, you be, will be banned by popular decree? You know, I'm certain I could go to into any library and find books that offend me. Why would I ban them? Well, Chris, we strongly believe that no books of any sexual orientation should be imposed in the libraries and not all imposed. Books... They're not imposed. Yeah. They're there. People select which books they choose to look at in a library. Chris, uh, with due respects, they don't belong in the children's section. Okay, we can't have toddlers and two-year-olds and three-year-olds and distressed parents uh, witnessing these books. They should be in an age-appropriate section and possibly in an, in an adult section, but definitely not in the toddler section, upsetting members of the community. So you're happy to have same-sex parenting books in the adult section? Are there any there now? There's none there now after the council resolution. I understand that's currently under review. Are you going to refine the resolution so that it only applies to children? Well, Chris, the Labor Party had their opportunity to refine and rescind the resolution. Our cut-off was Monday of, of midnight. As of yet, they haven't done it. And the questions I need to ask, and I'm going to go into it, this, is of their own councillors. We had their own councillors support this. One councillor walked out of the chamber. Um, I don't know why they did that. You know, and before Minister Graham and the state government start threatening to pull the council's funding from the libraries, um, they need to actually address the issue within their own house and also address the issue that do they really want to go down the road and take away funding for one of the most socially disadvantaged communities in New South Wales? Well, they expected uh, we're not a country that goes around banning books. Tell us about the community groups that have... Uh made representations to you? Are we talking about staunchly Muslim groups or staunchly Christian groups or a cross-section? Thanks, Chris. That's a good question. Look, um, Cumberland is made up of um, Christian groups, Muslim groups, Hindu groups. Um, you know, it's not just... You can't pin this on one section of the community. Even though... Have you the... been lobbied by any particular group? Not lobbied. It's just been continuously over... Have you had representations from any particular group? Yes. Who's behind this? Broad, broad members of the community, OK? Christians, um, Islamic groups, the majority of the community that have spoken to me are in support of this issue and not coming into councils. Let kids be kids is a message. We'll see where it goes, Steve. Thanks for joining us. Thanks. Steve Thanks. Christou, their councillor at the Cumberland uh, Council in New South Wales. I don't think it's the last we're going to hear of this issue.